Hey everyone, welcome. Allison here and today we are in the kitchen and today we are going to be making some northern beans and ham. So if you want to know how I make this recipe, then continue watching. So we are going to be making some great northern beans and ham. Or butter beans, I, well that's lima beans, so I guess that's a little different. Same staples so all right so I got two pounds of the great northern beans I soaked them overnight I just rinsed them to get all of the stuff off so we're gonna add that to the crock pot and you guys when you get your beans just make sure that you go through and make sure that you know you get all the bad ones out make sure there's no um, rocks or anything in there all right so we got that now I've got about I don't know probably five or six um, different sizes of garlic I just did a rough chop and add that into the crock pot got four stalks of celery. I just cut into, you know, bite sizes. Add that. And then I've got one large onion and I just diced it pretty small. I'm going to add that. Next, we're going to add some of these carrots. There are or, you know, they're already pre-chopped for me. I felt lazy last night when I went to the store. <laughs> We're going to add about half of the bag. And that was a 16 ounce, so a one pound bag. So I'm using about a half a pound of the carrots. My store did not have ham hocks, but they have the pork shanks good enough for me so we're gonna add as many as I can in here so this is we went to I think it was called Swanson's so it's got a lot of meat so we're gonna add probably I don't know three or four of these This is two pounds of, um, what do you call it, beans. That smells good already. It hasn't even started cooking. There we go. Alright, we'll add five. I'll put the rest in the freezer. Next, I'm going to add water just until it gets almost covered. So let me grab that. So I'm going to add the water. I might have to get some more. Maybe not. Hope we're good. I'm not going to add any salt just yet because um, this has got salt in it and then the pork shanks um, have um, salt in it as well. Check on it here in a couple of hours um, and see if we need to add any more flavoring. I'm going to turn this, I'll put the lid on. 
and I'm going to turn this on to high. We're going to let this cook for a couple of hours and uh, I'll be back to kind of show you the process of what's going on. Okay? Okay, so it has been about six hours. So let's go ahead and check this. That smells amazing, you guys. I want to see. Ugh. This is going to be soft enough to pull, and it is. So, yeah, look at that. Wow. All right, so I'm going to take these out. And I'm going to. Oh, wow. I'm trying to do this one-handed. All right, let me go get my camera holder. Hold on. There we go. Much easier. Wow, it seriously just wants to fall apart. Ooh. Let me get some tongs. I mean, look at that, wow. Let go. Wow. And this last piece. No, but I'll kind of, oh, breaking apart. Oh, look at that. Oh, it really did break apart. Holy cow. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. <laughs> look at that just fall apart. Oh my goodness. Okay. There we go. Alright. Push this back. And all that I'm gonna do is bring you down. Okay. It's just one, grab another fork. I'm just gonna spread this. Try and get some of the fat off. And then just put it back in. I gotta sneak it by. Shh, don't turn on. Oh man. Mmm. That is so good. Alright, so I'm going to continue to do this. And then um, I'll meet you guys when I get ready to serve. Okay, so I got all of the meat. There was quite a bit in there. Now, if you want, you can leave it just like this, okay? But I like it a little creamier. So, and I can't find my masher, so I'm just gonna use a whisk. Hopefully that'll mash some. 
not looking like it. I've got a potato masher. Maybe that'll work. I've got a better one, but I don't know what my dad would do with it. Alright, hold on. Okay, let's see if this works. Only bad thing about doing this is going to mash some of your veggies here. Uh-oh. I felt like there was a bone in there. Right there. Yep. Oops, there it was. Ha ha. Sneaky bugger. This will be even better tomorrow. It's always better the next day. Alright. Let this sit for a few minutes and then I'll be back with, uh, Tighten it, or well, putting it in bowl. Okay, let's get this served up for my hubby and my kiddo. Try. Well, I've already tried the ham and it was so good. Oh, it's gonna be so hot. Mm. Seriously, gotta try that. That is so, so good. Okay. Thank you guys for coming and watching. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and the notification bell if you so please. And I will see you guys next time. I love y'all. Have a good day or night. Bye.